In the Orange Walk District, hundreds of chickens are slaughtered each day at various local poultry markets. Within a matter of minutes, the birds go from roaming in their pen to being killed and cleaned. They are then sold fresh and even delivered to your front door. The district's poultry industry is big business. That's why the detection of avian influenza at a broiler farm in Blue Creek could spell trouble for this $114 million sector. However, Minister of Agriculture Jose Mai says that there is some uncertainty if indeed the disease has been detected. We have started testing in Belize too. We have a lab at Bahara to do PCR testing. Well, this morning I've been updated that our PCR tests are showing negative for the virus. What we are doing now are doing tests for the antibodies because just like in COVID, the test for the first time you have you're positive, but two days after, three days after, you're negative. But the antibodies are what we're looking for right now. So um, we are doing tests for the antibodies right now. At the same time, we have sent off this morning uh, samples to the OIE lab in the U.S. to confirm the cases. So right now, our, our crew is on the ground, still putting in place all the measures necessary to contain the disease. Those strict biosecurity measures comprised of quarantine checkpoints being erected and live poultry being prohibited from leaving the Blue Creek area. Initially, Baja's plan also included the slaughtering and disposing of over 20,000 chickens from the farm where the virus was detected, a move that was labelled as premature by Armando Kowal, president of the Poultry Association of Belize. We're supposed to be dealing with a science-based protocol to deal with this issue. Uh, unfortunately, Baja has jumped the gun and, and decided to do otherwise. Um, when we find a sub suspect case, the first thing that we would need is confirmation. Because they tested negative in PCR, it doesn't mean that the virus is not there. It just means that we didn't find the virus. Um, the virus could have, the birds could have shed off the virus, just, just like um, using the, the, the pandemic um, as an example. Um, after 14 days from after you have had COVID, after 14 days, you if they do a PCR test on you, more than likely you will be COVID negative, right? Um, we are awaiting the serology results from Baja. They promised us that they would have the serology results yesterday. It hasn't as of now. I haven't have any reply from Baja with the serology results. The association is not the only entity that is anxiously awaiting the results of the tests that have been sent out by Baja. Leah Martian, the manager of Cervantes' poultry, says her business relies on the sale of fresh chicken and is supplied by poultry farmers in Blue Creek. According to her, her business could be severely impacted if she isn't able to purchase live poultry. Hopefully, we are waiting and praying that it will be only a few days that this would be because it affects us with our workers because then we have to you know just work with a few of them up front because we have other workers that are at the plant and uh, this morning we got a bit of good news it's been 20 not even 24 hours that we got the news that we were informed about the you know the, i don't know if they're still calling it the bird flu because this morning um one of the managers told me that um, they had two negatives already so they are hoping that the other one my our problem is that we cannot take out live chicken from that area so that is where we stand i have uh, on a daily basis people that only want to handle fresh chicken Kawa further explained that while the results of the tests that were done in country came back as negative that may have been due to the late detection of the virus we need further confirmation on the virus um, definitely and um at this point it seems that the the because the the the, the lab in georgia had a backlog we did not get immediate results um, we got results late and therefore it might seem that the the virus has stopped circulating um, the birds have shed the virus but um, that is why we are doing the serology to see if there's a reaction to the antigens and see what level of antigens are in the birds so that we can make another decision. And a part of making the right decision to ensure this poultry problem is solved, according to Minister Mai, will take much more testing of the birds from the affected area. 
we don't want to make any mistake. We don't want to. Uh, we don't want to slaughter any birds if it is unnecessary. Um, um, but we have to keep testing. As a matter of fact, I don't think that the decision to depopulate was made by one entity, one person. There is a there is a committee in place, a task force that sits together, analyzes and make this decision. But that's why we have pushed the pause button because we want to ensure that when we make a decision, it is the right decision we're making. You know, when you depopulate, or when you slaughter the animals because they are sick, the thousands of dollars that go at, at, that are lost. So, um, but we cannot take a risk here. Right, so we, but we have to ensure that we make the right decisions. Vigil Alvarez, Love News.